Hi, it's Jules here again from Tapping with Jules, and I am an EFT practitioner and trainer and social worker, and I'm joined by Lisa Evans. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Lisa is also a social worker and EFT practitioner, and she's agreed to volunteer to help me out today um, to record a session, and we're working on a goal to do with money, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So Lisa's wanting to change her relationship with money. And the goal that we've come up with for the four sessions is that she wants to put aside $1,000 a month as savings from her business account into the offset account. And the first little step we've identified towards that is that you need to sit down and draw up a profit loss statement, which will be good for tax time, which is coming up. But also the idea being to share that with your husband, Brad, who is really good financial manager. Yep. Um, but you were saying in our goal setting session that you feel a fair bit of resistance coming up when you think about doing that. Yes. So that's basically where we start. When we're, when we're formulating a goal with a client, we, we get something really specific. So when would you want to be sitting down to do this profit loss statement, Lisa? What would be when you reckon I you think can start it? What's today? Today's Monday. So I think on the weekend, this, this yeah. weekend coming. Yeah. And where would you be doing it in the office or at home? Probably at home, um, probably I'd sit up, set up on the kitchen table and just go through um, my, I already do a BAS statement each quarter for my accountant mm -hmm. to do my mm -hmm. GST thing. So a lot of that information is already there. I probably just have to go back and have a look and um, put, it, put it down into it. Yeah. And like kind of take information from there and, take information from any, anywhere else like receipts and stuff that I might have and, and put it down into a, a different format just like a list that I could use to, to um, talk to Brad about it okay all right and so um, Saturday or Sunday do you reckon um which would be the better oh gosh you know what I've got a wedding on Saturday. <laughs> I'm probably not that so, day, then. yeah probably let's say by the end of Sunday so I've given myself the day after the, the wedding yeah okay no worries um pardon me all right so let's just start tapping on the side of the hand so when you when you think about sitting down sometime Sunday um to work on this profit loss statement um mm -hmm. going into the bus um getting information from that receipts etc so just tell me what what do you see what do you notice coming up for you either as an emotion or a sensation or a thought um, a slight sensation in the chest yeah um, and the I guess it's kind of um, it's more of a thought really I don't know if yeah. I can identify an emotion but the thought around um, oh like oh, just so rather be doing something else <laughs> okay. Okay, so you said a bit earlier that um, you felt a bit of resistance to the idea. Of yeah, does that, there's does definitely that resistance. Feel... That feels like probably the best word to describe it. Like a, it's not, okay. like, yeah, not a hesitancy, but a resistance, I think, to Okay, so resistance zero to 10, thinking about it now. Six? Yeah, and you're feeling it in the chest? Yeah, chest and maybe even a slight thing in the stomach too. Okay. And any more kind of information about why you feel resistance? Like you would rather be doing something else, but anything else about what you're resisting? Um, what is it about that it's task like, that brings up resistance? Yeah, it's like um, a resistance because I guess having to like it's it, it is the task it's the actual you know go, like going through pulling up this spreadsheet and going through and um putting these numbers down and bringing this across and there's that that kind of um the you know the actual task itself is just a bit like oh such a drag <laughs> yeah like on my on my sunday <laughs> like, i could be doing right. way more cool things than that <laughs> that's right Okay, good, good. All right, well, let's just make a start there and see where it takes us. Okay. Um, so just repeating after me and, but if I say anything that doesn't sort of sound right to you, if you want to change anything, throw in anything else, just go ahead. Okay. 
Um, all right. Even though I feel this resistance. Even though I feel this res resistance. Just thinking about sitting down on Sunday. Just thinking about sitting down on Sunday. To draw up this profit and loss statement. To draw up this profit and loss statement. I'm just thinking, oh, it's such a drag. I'm just thinking it's such a drag. Looking at spreadsheets and receipts on a Sunday. Looking at spreadsheets and receipts on a Sunday. <laughs> I'd definitely rather be doing something else. I'd definitely rather be doing something else. And I feel this in my chest and my stomach. And I feel this in my chest and my stomach. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Those words are okay. Mm -hmm. Even though I feel this resistance. Even though I feel this resistance. Just thinking about this task. Just thinking about this task. Of drawing up a profit loss statement. Of drawing up a profit loss statement. Looking at the BAS and the spreadsheets. Looking at the BAS and the spreadsheets. Looking at receipts. Looking at receipts. I'm like, oh, what a drag doing that on a Sunday. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what a drag doing that on a Sunday. <laughs> I'd rather be doing something cool. I'd rather be doing something cool. And I feel this resistance in my chest and my stomach. And I feel this resistance in my chest and my stomach. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this resistance. Even though I feel this resistance. Just thinking about this task. Just thinking about this task. Looking into the bass and getting information and receipts together. Looking into the bass and getting information and receipts together. Oh, there's so many other cooler things I could do. There's so many other cool things I could be doing. <laughs> On a Sunday. On a Sunday. Just feels like, oh, what a drag. It just feels like, oh, what a drag. And I feel this resistance in my chest and my stomach. And I feel this resistance in my chest and my stomach. And I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. And I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Okay, so top of the head. This resistance. This resistance. Resistance. This resistance. Resistance in my chest. Resistance in my chest. Resistance. Resistance. Resistance in my Resistance. stomach. In my stomach. Resistance. 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 This resistance in my chest and my stomach. This resistance in my chest and my stomach. Okay, so let's come back to the side of the hand. But just notice what you notice for me, Lisa. Imagining Sunday sometime, sitting down with your bass and your receipts and getting things together for this. The resistance has statement. gone down. Yeah. It feels more like um, it feels more like, oh, it's just, it's only, it won't take long to just put that together. Like it's the resistance feels less, um, I guess. Yeah. Um, um, now it's kind of like a What's the feeling? It's not like a dread. Dread is too strong of a word. Mm. It's more of like a um, not sure. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of what the right word is. Um, more of a discomfort around okay. like how I guess have tallying up and seeing how much I'm spending on the oh, expenses, yeah. the outgoings. Yeah. It's yeah. not a dread. It's more just like a discomfort that's attached okay. to that. Feeling sure. like I'll have to, like, yeah, look at all these outgoings and, yeah, there's something around that, yeah. I think. Okay. So if, if, I, if I asked you for, to rate the discomfort 0 to 10, imagining actually telling up, actually looking at what I'm spending and my outgoings. It's probably like a 4. It's not super strong. Yeah. And resistance, does that have a charge over 3 or 4? No, it feels like that's gone down to like a 2 or... Uh, okay. Yes, really yes. Are much smaller. Okay. Yeah. And do you feel the discomfort anywhere in your body at the moment? Imagining. Stomach? Like, with my yeah. stomach. Yep. And a little bit more information about what, what that discomfort is about. Like is it is it you actually looking at that stuff or is it more thinking about yeah. doing it with I, Brad? I think it's me 
looking at it and yep. specifically around just like all the costs, like having to actually really look at all the outgoings and what I'm spending on the different bits and pieces each month or quarter. Yeah. Or okay. And what about them? Like what is it about the idea of looking at them that makes you um, think? I probably will be like, I'll probably be surprised like probably like it'll be it'll be more than I would would like it to be <laughs> probably. <Okay. laughs> that's probably part of it but oh, um oh. just a little bit of like a yeah I'll have to yeah just that that kind of discomfort around seeing it all added up <laughs> okay the, the reason why you avoid it in the first place yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> going to be there in black and white okay yeah. all right even though I feel this discomfort even though I feel this discomfort as I imagine myself on Sunday as I imagine myself on Sunday sitting at the kitchen table sitting at the kitchen table tallying it all up tallying it all up seeing just how much I'm spending and what my outgoings are seeing just how much I'm spending and what my outgoings are I'm thinking it might be more than I would like it to be. I'm thinking it might be more than I would like it to be. I might be surprised. I might be surprised. And I feel some discomfort in my stomach just thinking about it. I feel some discomfort in my stomach just thinking about it. And I deeply and completely accept mm -hmm. myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, so far? Yep. Even though I feel this discomfort. Even though I feel this discomfort. As I imagine sitting at the table on Sunday in the kitchen. As I imagine sitting at the table on Sunday in the kitchen. And tallying up my outgoings. And tallying up my outgoings. And seeing just how much I am spending. And seeing just how much I am spending. All the costs. All the costs. I'm suspecting it might be more than I would like it to be. I'm suspecting it might be more than I like it to be. And I might be surprised seeing it all added up. And I might be surprised seeing it all added up. And I feel this discomfort in my stomach. And I feel this discomfort in my stomach. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this discomfort. Even though I feel this discomfort. As I imagine sitting down and tallying up all my spendings and outgoings. As I imagine sitting down and tallying up all my spendings and outgoings. I might be surprised. I might be surprised. Seeing it all added up. Seeing it all added up. Might be more than I would like it to be. It might be more than I would like it to be. And I feel the discomfort in my stomach. And I feel the discomfort in my stomach. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, top of the head. This discomfort. This discomfort. 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 This discomfort in my stomach. This discomfort in my stomach. Discomfort. 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 This discomfort in my stomach. This discomfort in my stomach. Discomfort. Discomfort. Okay, so coming back to the side of the hand, let's do a little scan of your body, mind, thoughts. It does feel like it's come down, that feeling of yeah. discomfort. Um, yeah. There was something that popped up. Now I'm just trying to remember what it was because I thought mid-round, oh, I'll have to tell Jules that that thought just came up. Mm. <laughs> and now I'm like, what is it? Um, it was like... Have a little drink maybe that night. Before. Yeah. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah. You can always just interrupt me mid-round if that happens. Yeah, cool. Yeah, because sometimes you, yeah, it comes and goes so quick. Um, mm. What was it? it was if like, it's important, um, they'll call back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, it was this memory that popped up. I just had this, um, I remember now when I was yeah. um, younger, and I, I, I'm not even sure if I remember the memory or if I just remember because I'd been told about it so much again yep. like as a as growing up but yep. um I had this memory surface of when I was my brother um 
had those chocolate boxes where you had to sell the chocolates for the school or for scouts or whatever. I can't remember what it was for. And he was my oldest brother. So he bought home this box and it was like M&Ms and Maltesers and he was trying to sell them for fundraising. Yeah. And I remember being really little. I can't remember if I remember this or if I just remember being told about it by Mm -hmm. my parents and my siblings so much. But I um, stole some money from the envelope and then paid that money to him again for more for a chocolate like pay so I basically oh. stole the money and then re-bought a chocolate because I was little I didn't have any money um yeah. and I remember like I know that I got busted for it somewhere like down the track it was it came up oh, because the box was short or because um yeah the envelope was short at the end when it was being added up or something and and eventually like mum and mum was trying to suss out like where why are we why do you short this money and I and it came back to me either I confessed or they put it together um I'm sure that me oh. being four or five wasn't that clever at stealing and and in my my Ponzi schemes but I remember like okay. being busted and then no, I didn't really get into st- so much trouble, but I just remember, like, I remember, like, my siblings gave me a lot of shit about it <laughs> like, oh, okay. and still do even to this day. And I don't oh, know why man. that just popped up, but that was a memory that came up in the middle of that round. Um, Isn't that, that interesting? Kind of, yeah. But just let's just see where it goes. Like, if you when you think about that memory now, which which part does your mind kind of focus on? Is it like, does, is it... An, and it doesn't matter if you're making it up really because it's I think it's guilt. Like I actually feel guilty yeah. that I did that. Okay. <laughs> like a little yeah. um I can laugh at it too. Like it's funny yeah, yeah, when I yeah. think, you know, yeah. of little four or five year old me coming yeah. up with this grand plan. But I feel a bit guilty that like it wasn't okay. it wasn't the right thing to do. It wasn't a very nice thing to do. <laughs> okay. So when you think about it now, when you think about that memory that that happened whether it's, you know, you remember it or whether you've just been told, guilt zero to ten, thinking that oh, I took money out of the envelope to buy my chocolate. I think it's like a four of guilt and yeah. even a little bit of embarrassment coming up as well. Yeah. I'm a bit what would you rate the embarrassment? It. Probably a five. Okay. So do you feel that in your body anywhere? The embarrassment feeling feels like it's like that, flush you know that feeling of like a flushed face that you get so kind of that and even down to my face and even down to my neck and chest area feels a little bit of a sensation good work body um (laughs) and what are the thoughts now about why you feel embarrassed that thinking that you did that um Good question. It's like, it's funny because the adult me is like, that's, I, I have a five-year-old and I think, I just think that's so mm. funny that he would yes. be that clever to do, to come up with that plan. Like pretty that's pretty thing. clever. Yeah. But I think the embarrassment was more about being busted, like being caught yeah. lying, like doing that kind of thing, yeah. doing the wrong thing. So is that what you think now? Like I feel embarrassed that I got caught. Yeah, I think it's more about the, yeah, I got caught and there's, and I remember my siblings and they still do, they just give me like grief about it, like funny. They take the piss out of me. Um, And that's, yeah. So I think it's more around the fact that I was caught and then I was like, everyone knew, like you did a naughty thing. (laughs) Okay. All right. Do you remember a particular sibling giving you more grief about it than another? No, I don't think so. Okay. No right. one's standing out. That's okay. All right. So um, where's your mind, where are you going in your mind, like the thinking of like being caught, lying, everyone knew you did a bad thing, did you say, or you did a wrong thing? Yeah, like it was it was, it was not, it was a naughty thing, like to steal okay. money like that, you know. Um, mm. So I think the embarrassment is like, yeah, like being caught, doing the wrong thing okay and but you're imagining yourself getting in trouble or just like that knowing I think that I did knows. get yeah. in super amounts of trouble but everyone knew that I had done okay. it and that I'd lied about it so I think it's more okay. that all right all right even though I feel this embarrassment even though I feel this embarrassment thinking how as a four or five year old thinking how as a four or five year old 
I took money out of the chocolate envelope. I took money out of the chocolate envelope. <laughs> to buy myself a chocolate. <laughs> to buy myself a chocolate. And I got busted. And I got busted. I was caught lying about it. I was caught lying about it. And everyone knew. And everyone knew. That I did a naughty thing stealing that money. I, that I did a naughty thing stealing money. And I feel flushed in my face. And I feel flushed in my face. And I'm feeling it down to my neck and chest area. And I'm feeling it down to my neck and chest area. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Those words okay? Mm -hmm. Even though I'm feeling embarrassment. Even though I'm feeling embarrassment. Remembering that I got busted. Remembering that I got busted. I got caught stealing money from the chocolate envelope. I got caught stealing money from the chocolate envelope. To buy myself a chocolate. To buy myself a chocolate. And it's just embarrassing being caught lying. And it's just embarrassing being caught lying. And everyone knew. And everyone knew. And all my siblings gave me grief about it. And all my siblings gave me grief about it. That I was naughty stealing money from the chocolate envelope. That I was naughty stealing money from the chocolate envelope. And I feel this embarrassment flushed in my face. I feel this embarrassment flushed in my face. And down to my neck and chest area. And down to my neck and chest area. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel embarrassment. Even though I feel embarrassment. Remembering that I was busted. Remembering that I was busted. As a four or five year old. As a four or five year old. I got caught taking money I, from the chocolate envelope. I got caught taking money from the chocolate envelope. To buy myself a chocolate. To buy myself a chocolate. <laughs> and everyone knew I was lying. And everyone knew I was lying. I was naughty stealing money. I was naughty stealing money. And I feel flushed in the face just thinking about it. And I feel flushed in the face just thinking about it. And I feel the embarrassment going down to my neck and chest area. And I feel the embarrassment going down to my neck and chest area. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. This embarrassment. This embarrassment. Embarrassment. This embarrassment. This embarrassment feels flushed in my face. This embarrassment feels flushed in my face. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Embarrassment. Embarrassment. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. And I feel it flushed in my face. And I feel it flushed in my face. And going down to my neck and chest area. Going down to my neck and chest area. You want to do another round or? No, I definitely felt like that came down because at the end, okay. just saying those words, embarrassment didn't feel true anymore. Um, okay, good, good. Yeah, so I definitely don't feel embarrassed anymore. I kind of just think it's, it's quite funny. Um, yeah. I feel a little bit still like guilty. I feel guilty mm. about doing that to Simon, my brother. <laughs> like mm. there's still a little like an element of three around a three of guilt, two or three. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So guilty because that I did that to Simon. Did you say? Yeah. Like it's just it's not very nice. Like I guess he was you know excited and he was doing the fundraising thing and you know kids get all excited about that um and i yeah i just feel like i kind of ruined that experience a little bit for him it just makes me feel a bit guilty okay and do you feel it in your body somewhere in my chest okay and you're focusing on anything particular in that memory or is it just more of a I think it was like, I think it's where my head's going is the part where he was go recounting the money. Like when oh. he was thinking, well, where's, something's gone wrong. Like, what have I done? Have I lost money? Or, you know, okay. like, and he wasn't sure. <laughs> what oh, happened. there you go. So I feel a bit guilty about that. You, you, you hadn't fessed up at that point or no, they hadn't worked out it was terrified that I was going to get busted. <laughs> and I oh, did because my mum was pretty clever.
And I think they would have just been like, okay, well, let's think about this. Who's bought a chocolate and did you collect them? Right. Like I can imagine how they would have gone through the process with him to help him problem right. solve it. Wow, right. Lisa, she bought a chocolate. <laughs> Where okay. did Lisa get that money from? <laughs> hmm. That's the envelope. Okay, so you're filling this in the chest, Lisa, is that right? Yeah, yeah, just like a three. Okay. okay. Even though I feel guilty. Even though I feel guilty. I'm just remembering Simon recounting the money. I'm just remembering Simon recounting the money. And he's going, what have I done? <laughs> and he's going, what have I done? He wasn't sure why, why it was short. He wasn't sure why it was short. And it's not very nice. And it's not very nice. I feel like I ruined that experience for him. I feel like I ruined that experience for him. And I feel this guilt in my chest. And I feel this guilt in my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Are those words okay? Mm -hmm. Even though I'm feeling guilty. Even though I'm feeling guilty. I can remember watching Simon recounting the money. I can remember watching Simon recounting the money. Trying to figure out why it's short. Trying to figure out why it's short. And I was terrified I was going to be busted. And I was terrified I was going to be busted. And I just feel guilty because he was so excited about doing the fundraising. And I feel guilty because he was so excited about doing the fundraising. And it's not very nice that I kind of ruined that for him. And it's not very nice that I kind of ruined that for him. By stealing money from the envelope. <laughs> By stealing money from the envelope. <laughs> and I feel this guilt in my chest. And I feel this guilt in my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel a bit guilty. Even though I feel a bit guilty. Because Simon was sitting down recounting the money over and over. Because Simon was sitting down recounting the money over and over. Trying to figure out what happened to that money. Trying to figure out what happened to that money. And I just think it's not very nice that I did that. And I just think it's not very nice that I did that. That I kind of ruined that thing he was excited about. That I kind of ruined the thing he was excited about. And I feel this guilt in my chest. And I feel this guilt in my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, top of the head. Feeling guilty. Feeling guilty. 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 Feeling guilty in my chest. Feeling guilty in my chest. Guilty. 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 This guilt in my chest. This guilt in my chest. Feeling guilty. Feeling guilty. Okie dokie. I had another memory come up. Oh, <laughs> do tell. Um, this is, I think it's related to the guilt piece again. I just had this yeah. memory of being, oh, we must have gone to McDonald's, like uh, the playground mm. at McDonald's. I think maybe we were traveling through because we didn't have, uh, I'm in a, in a small town. We didn't have a McDonald's in the town that I grew up in because we were too small yeah. when I was a kid, but we were tra traveling through Warwick, which is the next town over. Must have been on our way to Brisbane or something. And it was, it was late, like it was like evening time. And we had had something to eat at McDonald's on the way through, then went and had a big play in the playground. And then um, on the way out of there, it must have been after we left because it was gone. Anyway, I had this new jumper that my mum had bought me that I loved. It was like, you know, new and it said something like, you know, I have attitude or something to do with attitude. I'm not sure. <laughs> and it was a hoodie and it was brand new and I'd loved the jumper and mum agreed to buy it for me and I lost it. I left it in the oh. playground. Oh, so no. I think I just was playing and I was distracted and I'd taken it off and I'd put it maybe at the base of the slide or something like that. And then I, and then I left it. And I just remembered, like it popped up in my head then that round when I was saying guilty, like I feel guilty oh. because I felt so guilty about that mm. when I lost the jumper. At the yeah. time, I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but it was more mum's reaction to me yeah. having left it, lost it. And yeah. that's that came up as like, oh, that, I felt really guilty about that. Yeah. And again, now that I'm looking back at it, it's like I'm seeing it from a different point of view because back then I didn't really understand, oh, it was just an accident, I don't see what's a big deal. But now as an adult looking back, 
I can see it was because like it was an expensive new jumper that mum had just bought yeah. for me. And and now that I see, now that I think she was quite upset about it, I realise it's because like, you know, it's probably pretty tough having eight kids and, buy, you know, always buying <laughs> these like. Money straight. Yeah, fully. And I'd just gone and lost it in the first week or two after having it or something. And it was a good quality yeah. brand. Like I remember it yeah, being like right. expensive jumper. Yeah. So that just popped up into my head. <laughs> Random. So can you think, if you think now, can you kind of remember what mum said or like the look on her face or? Um, I can't remember what she said. I just remember being surprised that she was more upset than I thought she would be. Like yeah. I just remember thinking, oh, why is she so annoyed by that? Why did that upset okay. her so much kind of thing? Got her but, jumper. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I loved it. I loved that jumper. So I was really sad to have yeah. lost it. And obviously we must, it must have been on, you know, like it was too late. We were obviously on our way to Brisbane or something. So we couldn't go back. We're going to turn back. Yeah. Now that I'm a parent and I yes. look back at that, I'm like, oh, my poor mum. Like she would yeah. have, you know, that would have been a lot of money that she had to fork out. And then I just didn't respect yeah. enough, it enough to make sure I picked up after myself or something. Okay. I think yeah. That's kind of, yeah, what's. Yeah. What okay. I mean. So when you, so at this age, Lisa, who is a parent and, you know, like looking back on that memory now, what's the feeling that comes up? Guilty. Yeah. yeah. Guilty. For Zero mom, to like 10. Mom. Yeah. Um, like a five. Yeah. And can you feel it in your body somewhere at the moment? Chest again, yeah. Yep, and, and you feel guilty now because? Because it would have been, it would have, the reason she would have been upset was because it was expensive and that she just bought it and that mm. I just lost it, you know, like I'd obviously didn't have enough regard for like, yeah. like how expensive it would have been, you know, or like not, yeah. um, I guess didn't take as good a care of it as I should. So yeah. I just realised now that's why she was probably a more, that's why she was upset, you know, that's why I was like, that's oh, she's really taking this hard. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, even though I feel guilty. Even though I feel guilty. Thinking about how that time at McDonald's. Thinking about how that time at McDonald's. I left my I have attitude hoodie in the playground. I left my I have attitude hoodie in the playground. And mum was really upset about it. And mum was really upset about it. And I feel guilty because it would have been expensive. And I feel guilty because it would have been expensive. And she'd only just bought it. And she'd only just bought it. And I just didn't respect that enough and I didn't take good care of it. And I didn't respect that enough and I didn't take good care of it. And I feel this guilt in my chest. And I feel this guilt in my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm feeling guilty. Even though I'm feeling guilty. Just thinking about how upset mum was. Just thinking about how upset mum was. To find out that I'd left that brand new jumper at the playground at Macca's. To find out that I'd left the brand new jumper at the playground at Macca's. Because it would have been expensive. Because it would have been expensive. And she only just bought it for me a couple of weeks earlier. And she'd only just bought it for me a couple of weeks earlier. And I didn't take good care of it. And I didn't take good care of it. I feel guilty that I didn't respect that enough. I feel guilty that I didn't respect that enough. That she bought me that nice expensive jumper. That she bought me that nice expensive jumper. And I feel this guilt in my chest. And I feel this guilt in my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel guilty in my chest. Even though I feel guilty in my chest. Thinking now about how upset mum was. Thinking now about how upset mum was. When she found out that I left that nice new jumper at the playground. When she found out that I left that nice new jumper at the playground. Uh, well, it would have been expensive. And it would have been expensive. It was a good brand. It was a good brand. Probably hard for mum with eight kids. It was hard for mum with eight kids. <laughs> and I feel guilty now that I didn't take good care of that jumper. I feel guilty now that I didn't take good care of that jumper. It's like I didn't respect mum or that she bought that for me. It's like I didn't respect mum or that she bought that for me. 
And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Feeling guilty. Feeling guilty. 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 Guilty in my chest. Guilty in my chest. Feeling guilty. Feeling guilty. 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 Guilty in my chest. Guilty in my chest. Feeling guilty. Feeling guilty. Guilty. Feeling guilty. In my chest. In my chest. Okay. Yeah, the guilt's now. gone down. Yeah. It's kind of like amusing now. It's not really like I don't really feel anything about it. It's just a thing that okay. happened. Okay. Mm. Okay. Any other memories or is that it for now? <laughs> I had <laughs> I had something come up. I don't know. It was more of a thought. It is. Well, I guess it is a memory. I had this memory of mum telling us a story. I don't know. I think, again, it kind of relates to the old piece a little bit. She told us when we were younger, we never were aware of like money or financial struggles or like we just had no concept or clue about it yeah. but then when we got older mum would often tell us stories about like we would say things to her all the time like how the heck did you pay for eight lots of school books like you're crazy <laughs> you know that kind of thing yeah. and in those conversations she would say oh yeah like in the beginning there were there were times where it was so hard and I remember yeah. her telling me this story it was before I was even born so I don't have a memory of the event I just have a memory of being told um that she had maybe three, my, my oldest three or four siblings, so Simon, Katie and Sarah, and that the step, like the, the local show, town show was on. Mm-hmm. And she said they, they couldn't even, like they were just literally living from paycheck to paycheck. My dad was a um, carpenter, private builder, so he had a job on. And my mum told a story about how she, all the kids wanted to go to the show. They really wanted to go. And they didn't have any money. Yeah. And so they took this, they packed them up in the car and they went into the job that dad was working on and he had to ask um, the person if they would give an advance payment on part of the job so that he could take the kids to the show. Oh. And, like, they t- the mum told that story when I was in high school or something, so I was obviously older. Mm. And we would just have had no idea. Like, we had no clue that things were ever that tough for them, you know. Mm. And then I also think, like, how brave. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. To pack up all the kids and put them in the car, and like, what if he said no? <laughs> what if yeah, he was refused wow. to pay? Maybe Dad just knew that he was a lovely man to work for, or something. And he probably would. But I thought, crap, to have all the kids in the car, and what if he'd said no? You'd have to turn them all around and go home. So anyway, it was more. I don't remember that because it was before my time, but I remember her telling me that story, and that's what the thought that came up. Okay. So when you think about that story, like what's is there any emotion for you now when you think yeah, about it? Yeah, it does strangely bring up a fair bit of emotion. Yeah. I feel sad, I think. Like I feel a little bit, it's less less of a guilt feeling. Yeah. Um, although it kind of has an element-ish of guilt. It's like a sadness mm. for, for them, for mum and dad, at mm. how tough it would have been, mm. like in that at that time, I think. Um, yeah, it's kind of a sadness. Hmm. You can feel that in the body anywhere? Chest again, yeah. And even a little bit in my stomach. Okay. Okay. Uh, and so mum told you that story? Yeah. Well, I, it would have been when we were older. So it would have been like I would have been probably in high school age when she told me the story. I don't even really remember exactly when. Okay. And what number would you give the sadness, Lisa? Like a five? Yep. Okay. Even though I feel sad. Even though I feel sad. Thinking about that story mum told me as a teenager. Thinking about that story mum told me as a teenager. About how they didn't have any money when the local show came to town. When they didn't have any money when the show came to town. So they packed up the kids and drove to dad's job. So they packed up the kids and drove to dad's job. And dad asked for an advance on his paycheck. And dad asked for an advance on the 
pay yeah on his job yeah on his on his um the job that he had so he could take the kids to the show so he could take the kids to the show and i'm thinking what if the guy had said no <laughs> what if the guy had said no <laughs> I'm just sad that mum and dad were in that position yeah i just feel sad that mum and dad were in that position it must have been tough for them it must have been really tough for them and i feel it in my chest and my stomach and i feel it in my chest and stomach and i deeply and completely accept myself and I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel sad. Even though I feel sad. Thinking about that story mum told me. Thinking about that story mum told me. About how dad had to ask for an advance on his pay. About how dad had to ask for an advance on his pay. So that they could take the kids to the show. So that they could take the kids to the show. And the kids are already in the car ready to go. And the kids were already in the car ready to go. And I just feel sad that mum and dad were in that position. I just feel sad that mum and dad were in that position. Just living week to week. Just living week to week. It must have been tough. It must have been tough. And I feel it in my chest and my stomach. I feel it in my chest and in my stomach. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel sad. Even though I feel sad. For mum and dad. For mum and dad. But they struggled with money that much. That they struggled with money that much. That when the local show came to town, that when the local show came to town. Dad had to ask for an advance on his pay. Dad had to ask for an advance on his pay. Because he had all the kids packed up in the car. Because he had all the kids packed up in the car. Ready to go to the local show. Ready to go to the local show. And it must have been tough for mum and dad. And it must have been tough for mum and dad. Living from paycheck to paycheck like that. Living from paycheck to paycheck like that. And I feel the sadness in my chest and my stomach. And I feel the sadness in my chest and my stomach. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, top of the head. Feeling sad. Feeling sad. Sad. Feeling sad. Feeling sad in my chest. Feeling sad in my chest. Feeling sad in my stomach. And feeling sad in my stomach. Feeling sad. Feeling sad. 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 Feeling sad in my chest. Feeling sad in my chest. Feeling sad in my stomach. Feeling sad in my stomach. Okay. Yeah, I feel, I don't feel sad anymore. Mm -hmm. I guess I just feel like um, a gratefulness, I suppose, like a really, um, that, yeah, that they didn't, what they never really wanted the kids to go without. So, yeah, I just feel really kind of grateful for everything they, they've done for us, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So is, does the sadness feel like a zero or a one or a two? Maybe like a one. It's mm. pretty faint. Yeah. Okay. It's more just more just thinking. Oh, we're, we're pretty lucky, you know, as kids. Right. We, had good, we had good parents. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just circle back, and I want you to just imagine um, sitting down someday, sometime, at the kitchen table with your bus and your receipts, and trying to get together. Um, a profit and loss statement and I want you yep. to see what you notice when you're thinking about that now that task it feels fine like I don't I don't really it's just kind of like a thing to do it's not really like it doesn't bring up like an emotional response I guess okay um it's just kind of like oh yeah that would be good to do that I should do that <laughs> okay <laughs> So do you notice any discomfort at all? Not really, I don't think, no. No, it kind of feels fine. Okay, what about when you notice all the costs and the outgoings and they're all like added up and you can see maybe you'll be a bit surprised, maybe it'll be a bit more than you'd like it to be? Yeah. And even just like adding up the total income as well for the for that for a little while for the month, 
Um, No, I don't feel like I don't really feel any kind of resistance to doing that or like worry about the figures being summed up or whatnot. I feel a little bit like that that I'm kind of being drawn to like the income part. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's like something there about that. It's just like I don't know. Like I know it'll be less than what I would have wanted for the like if I did it if I tallied up my income for the last month it'll be less than I would have um you know usually had or wanted to have or, or kind of expected to have I suppose because there's just been so many um had to do so many cancellations um with with clients who are in isolation like their kids have got COVID from school and now they're all locked down or they've had um you know their kids are snotty and they can't come in today so I just I know there's been quite a few cancellations lots of COVID related stuff lately yeah. but that's but it doesn't necessarily, like I, I've got an awareness of it, but I'm not really bothered by it, I guess. I, I'm trying to think if that's bringing up an emotional charge because I'm having that yeah. thought, but I don't think so. I think it's just kind of like, oh, that's just the way that things are at the moment. Mm, okay. So just zoom in on that, like looking at the income, less than it normally would be because of all these cancellations won't be what you'd hoped it to be. Any charge around that? It's about, I think this is what it's about. This is, this is my head's being dragged more towards the um, talking to opening it up to Brad thing. I think yeah. that's where it's going. I was just kind of thinking, why is that coming up? Yeah. But I think it's, yeah, it's that. It's the idea of um, like having to show Brad the income and, and what he might think of it, whether it's like, mm, I don't know, I think there's like a little bit of something coming up about that. Okay. <laughs> But so not the it, actual act of tallying it, doing no, it, seeing it, putting it together. Yeah. That feels fine. Mm. All right, so mm. let's just do a little bit of future pacing. So imagine you've done your profit loss statement and you've got, mm, this is the income. Mm, that's not what I'd hoped. That's not a normal, perhaps it's not a normal amount for you with all the COVID stuff. And then mm. the outgoings or the things that you've spent money on and just imagine yourself sitting down with Brad and having to share that with him having to sort of show him this is the income, this is the outgoings, yeah. the, you know, expenses, just imagining that, what what comes up as a thought or a feeling or a sensation? Um, like a, I'm not going to say it's a fear because that's not really, it's too strong of a word, maybe a bit of a worry or discomfort around whether he'll think like whether he might think it's not, um enough like mm. a bit of a maybe a bit of a not not his reaction because that's just silly I know he's not going to react to it it's more like he might not oh, what is it I don't really know what it is it's something about feeling showing him that me not feeling like I've done a good enough job or something yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay and you feel it's in your body somewhere um Yeah, it's kind of chest, kind of upper layer, like chest, throat, even down, kind of the whole torso probably, okay, like sure. chest, throat, yeah. stomach area. Yeah. And worry, do you want to say worry or discomfort? Even um, though I feel this worry that he might think it's not enough, he might... Yeah, I feel like I haven't done a good enough job, and we and like yeah. you know, just to be clear, it's not. This is all unconscious stuff. This isn't like what you really think he's really going to think. It's just this. Yeah, because that's all out of your mouth. Like, it doesn't right? make a lot of sense because he does. would not be at all like he's not going to care. He knows. It's yeah, like he'll just be like, oh, yes, yeah, so, but, but I've got this kind idea of idea that it's yeah. like, oh, what if he thinks I'm not doing a good enough job or something? That's right, that's right. It's just old crap. Uh, worry zero to ten. Four. Four, yeah. And what might he say, do you think? What do you imagine that he might say or look on his face or? Um, good question. What is it? It's, it's funny. Um, it's more that he, I don't think he'd say no, it might be just the like thing that you would. I just don't want him to be like disappointed, maybe, or like think I'm 
Um, I don't want him to, ah, oh, what is it? It's a weird thing. It's hard to put my finger on. Um, I don't want to like disappoint him. Yeah. Okay, cool. See how young that sounds though. Like it's so not really. Yeah, totally. He would be watching this. He'd be like, who are you? I know. What have you done with my wife? The thing ain't the thing. <laughs> All right. Even though I feel this worry. Even though I feel this worry. Just imagining sitting down with Brad. Just imagining sitting down with Brad. And showing him my profit and loss statement. And showing him my profit and loss statement. Because he might think that's not enough. Because he might think that's not enough. And uh, I don't want him to be disappointed. And I don't want him to be disappointed. I don't want him feeling like I haven't done a good enough job. I don't want him feeling like I haven't done a good enough job. And I feel this worry in my whole torso. And I feel this worry in my whole torso. And my chest and my throat. And my chest and my throat. <clears throat> and I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Those words okay? Mm hmm even though I feel a bit worried. Even though I feel a bit worried. Just imagining sitting down with Brad and my profit and loss statement. Just imagining sitting down with Brad and going through the profit and loss statement. And my income isn't going to be what I hoped for. My income isn't going to be what I'd hoped for. Because of all the COVID cancellations. Because of all the COVID cancellations. And he might think it's not enough. And he might think it's not enough. I don't want him to be disappointed. I don't want him to be disappointed. He might feel like I didn't do a good enough job. He might feel like I didn't do a good enough job. And I feel this worry in my whole torso and my throat. And I feel this worry in my whole torso and my throat. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this worry. Even though I feel this worry. Imagining showing Brad my profit and loss statement. Imagining showing Brad my profit and loss statement. And my income won't be what I wanted it to be. And my income won't be what I wanted it to be. Because of all these COVID cancellations. Because of all these COVID cancellations. And he might think it's not enough. And he might think it's not enough. He might think I didn't do a good enough job. He might think I didn't do a good enough job. I don't want him to be disappointed. I don't want him to be disappointed. And I feel the worry in my chest and my throat. And I feel the worry in my chest and my throat. My whole torso my whole torso and I deeply and completely accept myself and I deeply and completely accept myself okay top of the head this worry this worry this worry in my throat this worry in my throat worry worry this worry in my chest this worry in my chest this worry this worry the worries in my whole torso. Worries in my whole torso. This worry. This worry. This worry in my torso and my throat. This worry in my torso and in my throat. Okay, let's come back to the side of the hand. Let's notice what we notice. I had a, another memory. <laughs> Popping this one doesn't today. it wasn't doesn't feel like early though it's quite late it's like mm -hmm. um i mean more recent in the yeah. timeline um it was a boss that i worked for mm -hmm. so when i did a ski season in canada mm -hmm. i like worked over my sister and i went over there and we um you know did it worked a ski season over there and there was a boss there who i had who he was kind of i guess he kind of did remind me of my dad a little bit he was pretty firm like he was kind of a hard man, but he really valued hard workers. And, you know, if yeah. you if you earn his respect, like it kind of meant something like that kind of yeah. feel to it. Anyway, I just remember when I was doing, when I was saying disappointed, that word like this popped up in, in wow. him saying to me once when I um, slept in for a shift and I got there really late and he, I uh, was like, oh, I was just so scared of how like angry he might have been because it was, I mean, it was a ski, I was, 
19 or 20, I think, you know, it was ski season. So we were bloody drinking every night. We were partying and <laughs> getting, you know, like it, it was just that yeah, time. Yeah. And so I was, we'd been up on the piss, I, you know, we, I was yeah. hungover. I'd slept in, I'd slept through my alarm. That's what it was. I slept through my alarm. So I was late for my shift. Oh. So I knew I'd stuffed up, you know, like I'd really let him down. Yeah. And I ran into work. I was probably like 45 minutes late and I knew he wouldn't have take, he wouldn't take it nicely. And yeah. so I was like, panicked at how bad it would be and I just and I went into the office expecting that he would because he, he said you know Sam Lisa and I thought he would blast me like I thought he'd be really angry because he yeah. had a temper like he was a pretty hard man yeah. but um he just said I remember he just turned around and he said I'm just so disappointed in you like that was the word that he used and I like burst into tears oh, I was hysterically oh. sobbing like I'm just yeah. so sorry and I just remember like feeling like I really let him down and it was it was like him saying I'm just so disappointed was 10 times worse than if he'd just been angry which I'd kind of hoped it would be <laughs> yeah. Yeah. just so disappointed in you and it was like oh it felt like a stab right in the chest you know um so that just that that word that's what brought it up when I, I kept yeah saying disappointment disappointment I remember this guy yeah wow all right so let's <laughs> let's have you um think about that memory now and see what if there's a charge like if there's an emotion that you feel now when you think about him saying I'm just so disappointed in you yeah I do feel I still, still do feel a bit of a charge about it um Maybe it's a little bit guilty. It's like I feel like I let him down. Like yeah. I feel like it was a bit, you know, like I let him down. I respected him a lot, so it was kind of um, I felt a bit shit about that. Yeah. And now I still feel a little bit of that there. Like a, it's definitely yeah. the same sensation in the chest. It feels a little bit like I just like yeah. I let him down. Yeah. Okay. So well, do you want to say guilty or just say I feel even though I feel like I let him down? I think that feels more true, even okay. though I feel like I let him down. Yeah. yeah. And zero to 10 on that. Four, five, I reckon. Five. Yep. And it's in the chest. Mm. Um, because you respected him and. Yeah. And I guess I did let him down. Like I was just. Yeah. I was, I partied and I stayed up way too late and I knew I had an early shift in the morning and. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like irresponsible, I guess. Okay. You naughty girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It all feels connected, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Do you remember his um? What's his name? Or I do remember his name. I just don't know if I should say it. If it's oh, going to be right. recorded. It, um, right. But John, I'll just say his first name, John, because okay. right. that's a very common name. So. All right. Even though I feel like I let him down. Even though I feel like I let him down. Just thinking about that time when I slept in and I was hungover and late for my shift. Just thinking about that time that I slept in and I was hungover and I was late for my shift. And I really respected him. And I really respected him. And I did let him down. And I did let him down. And I feel shit about that. And I feel shit about that. And I feel it in my chest. And I feel it in my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel like I let him down. Even though I feel like I let him down. Because I was irresponsible. Because I was irresponsible. I stayed out late partying. I stayed out late partying. I slept in. I was hungover. I slept in. I was hungover. I was late for my shift. I was late for my shift. And I really did let him down. And I feel shit about that. And I really did let him down. And I feel shit about that. And I feel it in my chest. And I feel it in my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel like I let him down. Even though I feel like I let him down. Just remembering him saying, I'm just so disappointed in you. Just remembering him saying, I'm just so disappointed in you. And I burst into tears. And I burst into tears. Because I really respected him. Because I really respected him. And I did let him down. I was irresponsible. And I did let him down. I was irresponsible. I just feel shit about that. I was late for my shift. I just feel shit about that. I was late for my shift. And I feel this in my chest. And I feel this in my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, top of the head. I let him down. I let him down. I did let him down. I did let him down. I let him down. 
I let him down. I let him down, feeling is in my chest. I let him down, feeling is in my chest. I let him down. I let him down. I let him down. I let him down. <clears throat> he was so disappointed in me. He was so disappointed in me because I did let him down. Because I did let him down. Okay. We notice about that now. Yeah, definitely shifted. I could feel like by the end of that round, I was like, it didn't feel true anymore. Like that, this like feeling like I let down. Um, I feel okay about it. Um, is there anything left there? No, I don't think so. I think I feel okay about that. Just remembering him saying, "I'm just so disappointed in you." Yeah, no, it's fine. It's okay, zero. Kind of all good. Mm. Yeah, zero. Okay. How's the chest? Good. Yeah, feels fine. All right. So let's just come back again, imagining sitting down to do your profit and loss statement, and then you're going to show Brad and what comes to you, what, do you, what pops in when you think about him looking at your income, your expenses, your outgoings. Um. I feel a lot better about it. I feel like I, um, yeah, like I don't feel like worried about it or anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it definitely feels like a bit it feels fine. Um, maybe like I'm a little bit worried that he might be critical, like there could be a slight, not critical, I guess because he is like his background and what he does is that he is um, he's a manager, he's in management and he's really good at what he does. Um, so I'm just a little bit like there's a niggling like, oh, I don't want him to cr be critical. I don't want to be criticised or yeah. feel like I'm being criticised. Sure. Um, and what might he say that would might make you feel like that? Or would he um, say that not that he would say it was is it like might be a look or something he does? How might you end up feeling that he's criticizing you somehow? I think it's like a tone that I'm kind yeah. of more thinking of, like more of a tone of voice. every married person. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Take that um, tone with me. Yeah. Yeah. What I would think the tone be? Like is oh, it's can you tell so me more funny. about the tone? Like um, I mean, as long as you know what it means, it doesn't matter, but would be the tone in his voice or the way he would say something or the way he would look at I the I think document. it would be the tone in his voice. Yeah. I think. Um, I don't even know, like, if there's something he would say or I can't even think of a plausible scenario. It's more just like I feel like it's the the tone, it's the undercurrent. Yeah. <laughs> Undercurrent in thinking what? Like what do you think you might be thinking that he won't say? It is still about the money piece. It's about us being so different in how we approach it. Like yeah. that he's that he might be not critical, but I guess it is kind of a critical thing. Like I, I feel like um oh, what is it? It's hard to pinpoint. Um it is about the tone and the tone kind of um, portraying that I'm like a, a you know, bit like it, like the impulsive or the irresponsible lead thing, like that element. Yeah. Like um, it's, it's, I just had another thing come up in my mind and I'm not yeah. sure if that's connected or not, but there's like a, um, we've had these conversations before about money and before he's not working at the moment he's um yeah. on a period where he's at home with the kids while I got the business kind of really going and he's definitely like so ready to go back to work so he's trying he's looking at work now but I just had this like memory of discussions we've had before about money and if we've ever argued about it or if we haven't seen eye to eye about it hmm. it's like this because he always his income used to always be a lot higher because that yeah. he just isn't an industry where he earned more money so there was kind of like a few times he's made the comment of 
well, it's you, you can be like with that tone of like, yeah, but you can be comfortable. You can just be frivolous because everything's taken care of for you. Like it's that kind no, of yeah, yeah. element to it. Yeah, yeah. Like, but you've always had everything you want, every, everything you ever want, you get, you know, like it's Meaning that from him or your parents or both? From him, yeah. Like, oh, okay. you know, it's more like if we didn't see eye to eye about things or if we'd argued about money, it's kind. Of, it's a tone of like, yeah. almost a sense of you're you're a bit in tight like you've never yeah. had to worry because I take yeah. care of that do you know like yeah and then with that comes almost a little like an element of yeah like I guess like a bit entitled like that feeling to it yeah does yeah, that kind yeah. of make sense oh yeah yeah that he thinks you're a bit entitled it's like that's the, that's the tone entitled. that comes. No, that the tone that comes with the the com- the conversation about yeah, but I I manage all of that. You know, like anything you want, yeah. you you get. So it almost makes me feel like it's my it's my um, perception of it. It's probably not in all set with that. It's said with that intention, but I feel like the tone sounds a lot like, well, you yeah, you know, you're you're entitled. You get every, you, everything you've ever wanted. I've taken care of that for you, like that kind oh, of right. thing. So you don't have to worry about money. Why would you be worried about no, money? That's right. <laughs> that's right. So imagining him taking that tone when he's looking at your profit and loss statement, worried zero to 10 that he's going to have that tone. It's not very high, but it's there. It's like a four. Yeah. And you feel yeah. in the body somewhere? It's like stomach area, but not quite stomach, a little bit higher. It's kind of in between your chest and your stomach. Okay. Um, I don't know what you call that. Say stomach area. Okay. All right. Even though I feel a bit worried. Even though I feel a bit worried. As I imagine sitting down with Brad and my profit and loss statement. As I imagine sitting down with Brad and my profit and loss statement. Oh, I don't want him to criticise me. I don't want him to criticise me. But he might have that tone. He might have that tone. That, oh, well, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, well, you don't have to worry about it. Anything you've ever wanted, you get. Anything you've ever wanted, you get. I've always taken care of it. I've always taken care of it. Like he thinks I'm a bit entitled. Like he thinks I'm a bit entitled. And I feel this between my stomach and my chest. And I feel this between my stomach and my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Those words, okay? Mm Mm-hmm. Even though I feel a bit worried. Even though I feel a bit worried. Imagining showing Brad my profit and loss statement. Imagining showing Brad my profit and loss statement. I'm worried he's going to have that tone. I'm worried he's going to have that tone. That sort of undercurrent. That sort of undercurrent. Feels a little bit critical. It feels a little bit critical. Like I'm a bit entitled. Like I'm a bit entitled. (laughs) Like I've never had to worry about money. Like I've never had to worry about money. Because he takes care of it all. Because he takes care of it all. And I feel it in my between my stomach and my chest. And I feel it between my stomach and my chest. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though there's a little bit of worry. Even though there's a little bit of worry. Between my stomach and my chest. Between my stomach and my chest. As I imagine Brad looking at my profit and loss statement. As I imagine Brad looking at my profit and loss statement. I'm imagining there'll be this tone. I'm imagining there'll be this tone. This undercurrent. This undercurrent. Portraying him thinking I'm a bit entitled. Portraying him thinking that I'm a bit entitled. I'm the irresponsible one. So I'm the irresponsible one. Yet everything I ever want, I get. (laughs) But everything I ever want, I get. Because I've never had to worry because he's always taken care of everything. Because I don't have never had to worry because he's always taken care of everything. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. This worry. This worry. Feeling worried. Feeling worry. Feeling worried in between my stomach and my chest. Feeling worried in between my stomach and my chest. This worry. This worry. I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried. This worry between my stomach and my chest. This worry between my stomach and my chest. Feeling worried. Feeling worried. This worry. This worry. 
Okay, come back to the side of the hand. Yeah, I felt that go, like I felt a big sigh of relief. Um, do I feel worried about it at all? Um, no, I don't, not really, I don't think so. I think that feels like, like I'm, I, it's probably more my perception than a reality. Like, yeah, if that makes yeah. sense, I feel oh, more yeah. like, please. Yeah. He's not, yeah, I don't think he's going to be critical. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just, um, does it feel like a zero or a one or a two? I think a zero. Okay. So just, I'll just get you to vividly imagine sitting down there with Brad, you've done your profit and loss. There's your income. It's not what you'd have hoped because of the old COVID cancellations. There's all the outgoings. Could be a bit more than you would want it to be on that side of the piece of paper. Mm. And Brad's having a look. And perhaps there's a little bit of a tone. Yeah. Mm. Maybe, maybe he's, you're feeling he's a little bit critical just looking at that. Is anything coming? I just, I was having the thought, um, I don't know if it's an emotion, but I was having the thought like, because I, because I <laughs> turned our lives upside down, it sounds very dramatic, because I um, was, it was my push to come here, to move, to open the business that I wanted to open, to run the practice. And like, I just remember him saying, all throughout that time, like it's not, it, businesses aren't easy. Like it takes so much hard work and, you know, it takes a lot of dedication and people who start their own businesses, um, you know, none of them will, they will tell, like it doesn't come easy. None of them will tell you it comes easy and they have to do a lot of work. And the first couple of years, you know, it takes, it, they, you know, like I just kind of remember those conversations. Um, and him always going, trying to like tell me not to underestimate how much work it would be and how much time and effort it would take and that you would be, you know, you might think you're going into it for a lifestyle change, but what will end up happening is that you'll work harder and more intensively than you ever have because it's now it's for your business, you know, and you've got your invested. So I like have a little bit of that coming up, like that, the, all those conversations about him kind of, it's not, you know, don't underestimate how hard this is going to be, like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what meaning can, do you make of that? Like when, when with that coming in, how does that make you feel about him looking at your profit and loss statement? How do you it's like, it? how's it coming in? It's like, I think it's maybe like almost a belief kind of system around how much hard work you have to put in to make a lot of money or to have a lot of, like to have a really high income earning business, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it's more of, a, yeah, I think it's tying in into a belief maybe about, which is, I'm not sure. It's kind of hard for me to decipher because I, I already, I do work hard. I, I, mm -hmm. I always have, I've always had a very strong work ethic. So even when I worked in, um, like for other businesses um, in yeah. roles, I would always be putting in, you know, over and above and I was there for long hours. And so it's not that I, maybe it's, maybe it's more like, it's like more of the belief is leading me to believe that like, like you have to work hard to mm. make lots of money. I mm. think something like that. Yeah. Um, that it won't, it doesn't just come easy, um, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. And that it's almost like it's tied in with the sacrifice. I feel like I have to, I'll have to sacrifice Yeah. more, like I'll have to sacrifice whether it's more time with the family or whether it's fun, like I have to give up on fun yeah. things that I want to do or, yeah. you know, my social time or the time with him and the kids or it's like, the, you know, it's like a sacrifice yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. Hmm. I'm not really sure how it ties in. It just kind of came up. Right. <laughs> okay, interesting. 
I mean, do you feel like um, is there any charge when you think about that stuff? Like I'm just wondering, should we kind of sneak away and say we can come back to this next week? Yeah, maybe if we come back to it next week and I can just mull that over a little bit more just to try yeah. and figure out what how that comes in or what that what yeah. belief that that's set up for me. Hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan. But just now as you imagine him sitting there looking at your profit loss statement, what's any like one word emotion or like sensation in the body coming in? No, it kind of feels all pretty like a no, not a big deal, like it's hmm. achievable and it's not really a drama. Okay. it's not as I don't have anywhere near as much resistance um, as what I did to that before yeah for sure. there any resistance like could you give resistance a number maybe still a little bit like I'd say 15 10 to 10 to 20 percent like 15 percent yeah okay all right. I mean, I, um all right so even though there might be more work to do on this even though there might be more work to do on this I don't feel anywhere near the same amount of resistance I don't feel anywhere near that same amount of resistance as I had before. As I had before. Just thinking about sitting down with Brad, showing him my profit loss statement. Just thinking about sitting down with Brad and showing him my profit and loss statement. And I've had lots of memories come in. And I've had lots of memories come in. Done lots of good work here today. Done lots of good work here today. And I'm okay to put it aside for now. And I'm okay to put it aside for now. So even though there's going to be more work to do on this issue, even though there's going to be more work to do on this issue. It feels achievable. It feels achievable. To do my profit and loss statement. To do my profit and loss statement. Share that with Brad. Share that with Brad. It doesn't feel like a drama. It doesn't feel like a drama. And I'm okay to put it aside for now. And I'm okay to put it aside for now. Knowing we can come back to this again next week. Knowing we can come back to this again next week. And I accept myself and how I feel. And I accept myself and how I feel. Even though there's more work to do on this. Even though there's more work to do on this. I'm feeling a lot less resistance. I'm feeling a lot less resistance. It feels achievable now. It feels achievable now. That I can make this profit loss statement. That I can make this profit loss statement. And share it with Brad. And share it with Brad. It feels like not a drama, really. It feels like not a drama, really. But we can come back to it again next time. And we can come back to it again next time. And I'm happy to leave it there for now. I'm happy to leave it there for now. Okay, top of the head. It feels achievable now. It feels achievable now. It's not a drama, really. It's not a drama, really. I'm noticing a lot less resistance. I'm noticing a lot less resistance. I feel like I can do that profit and loss statement now. I feel like I can do that profit and loss statement now. I can share it with Brad. I can share it with Brad. It's not a drama. It's not a drama. It feels achievable. It feels achievable. I'm okay to leave it for there. Leave it there for I'm, now. I'm okay to leave it there for now. We can come back to it next week. We can come back to it next week. Okay. Oh, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Yeah, I feel I feel good for sure. How's the body? Good. Calm. I feel very relaxed, <laughs> which is nice. It is nice. Nice <laughs> thinking about financials is usually stressful in some way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I feel good. I feel pretty pretty chill now. Excellent. All right, well, let's see how that works. Okay. And uh, hopefully you won't be hungover and too tired on Sunday to do your... Profit loss. <laughs> after the wedding. <laughs> yes, right, yeah. But really, uh, yes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be able to do it by the next time we meet. But if not, then that will just be information in itself and we'll tap on whatever comes up. Sure. No, that sounds good. Thank you, Jules. Uh, thank you for doing that. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.